Right, grade S, you should have hopefully done exercise 6, and this is just the memo. So hopefully you can mark and learn from your mistakes, um, and then we'll take it from there. Okay, first question, question A. This was simply to check, do you know that when you raise a power to another power, you multiply? So I multiplied those together, and I got 8 to the power of 8. On to the next one. This one was to check law 4. So do you know that when you have two factors but they're inside a bracket and they're part of one term that you can cube everything in the bracket. Now personally I would have just gone straight to 8x cubed but most people make a mistake here. Most people would say that this is 6x cubed because they go a little bit too far. So just be careful with your numbers. Okay, on to C. This question was trying to check do you know that this is negative 1? This is actually negative 1 that gets cubed and x squared that gets cubed. Now negative 1 cubed is a negative times a negative times a negative, which is negative and 1. So you don't have to write that. You could just say negative x to the power of 6. Don't forget when you raise a power to the mother when you raise a power to another power, you multiply. Okay, on to the next. Now I'm going to start trying to show you how I would do this in my head. I say to myself, okay, this is x squared squared and y cubed squared. So I say when I raise a power to another power, I multiply. So I start going right. x squared squared, 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 2 is 6. So that's how I would do it in a test or exam. If you prefer to add in the intermediate step of saying to yourself, x squared squared, y cubed squared, it's entirely up to you. I'm going to start trying to pick up the pace um, and explain to you what I'm doing in my head. Now you've got to be careful with these ones because when you start doing things in your head you start saying, oh, x squared, so that's easy, that's x squared. Oh, when I raise a power to another power I multiply, so 2 times 2 is 4. But then because you're saying that, most people will now go, oh, 3 times 2 is 6. But just be careful, it's 3 squared. 3 has a little exponent, an exponent of 1. So I multiply the 1 by the 2 and I still get 3 squared, which is 9. So just be careful that the numbers don't, don't suffer because that you're going too fast. Okay, back up to F. Again, here you've got to be really careful because this, this is negative 2 cubed. So negative 2 cubed is actually negative 8 because a negative multiplied by itself an odd number of times would be negative and isn't, it isn't 2 times 3, it's 2 cubed which is 8. Then when I raise a power to another power I multiply so I get 6 and y cubed. Again if you're going to make a mistake there's nothing wrong with writing out the, the intermediate step which is negative 2 cubed, x squared, cubed and y cubed. So you must go at the pace that would suit you. Okay, next one. We did practice one of these in the previous video. And that don't forget that even if it's a fraction, everything gets cubed. So this actually becomes x cubed over y cubed. Only because there was one term in the bracket you can distribute. So next one, I'm distributing. When I raise a power to another power, I multiply. And when I raise a power to another power, I multiply. Okay, on to the next. This is quite tricky because this is actually negative 1 squared, which is actually positive. So if you're going fast in an exam, I would just go straight to the fact that negative 1, invisible 1 squared, would be positive 1, so I don't write anything. When I raise a power to another power, I multiply. So that I didn't multiply, let me write an 8. That looks terrible, let me erase it. x to the power of 8. When I raise a power to another power, I multiply. But here, it might be useful to remind yourself that that's negative 1 squared and then the x to the power of 8, y to the power of 6, which becomes 1, or you can leave the 1 alone. Okay, next one. This again is negative 1 cubed, but negative 1 cubed would be negative 1, or just negative. When I raise a power to another power, I multiply raise, raise a power to another power i, multiply. Again, might be quite useful to write in the fact that this is negative 1 cubed. Then you'll raise a power to another power, raise a power to another power, 
raise a power to another power. So just be a little bit careful when you start cutting corners and going fast that you don't make mistakes. Right, so that was the first exercise on seeing how you were doing. So now try exercise 7 and then you can watch the video to see if you are mastering these concepts. Okay, good luck.